Morning right now, UDOT crews are cleaning up several mudslides that left dozens of people stranded overnight in Little Cottonwood Canyon. You were looking live at that cleanup effort this morning. ABC4's Jason Wynn has been up the canyon all morning long. He has more on their work to clear that mud and debris off the road. It's uh, pretty, pretty scary though. You got uh, the hillside's been alive all night. You can hear rocks tumbling down, moving down. It's kind of eerie sometimes. Since 8 o'clock Thursday night, UDOT crews cleared boulders as tall as five feet high while dealing with gushing mud and water that stretched hundreds of feet. It's unbelievable how much material was moved by water coming out. This is just one of the nine mudslides that UDOT has to deal with. The good news is they say the road is okay. Trapped between two slides Thursday night were Stephanie Schultz and John Cook. What happened was we were um, evacuated, told to park, and then they um, had firefighters that were walking us through the debris field. The two and their family recorded this video of firefighters setting up rope and ladder bridges in tough terrain to rescue those stranded. To see these boulders that just came down, everyone I, everyone's really lucky that a car wasn't taken out. or, or There were boulders that were as tall as us that we were walking across. It was crazy. UDOT plans to have the road cleared for a cycling race Monday morning, but we'll need most of Friday to do it. I have never seen anything like this in my 18 years career. Guys that have been up here 20 years have never seen it this bad. In Little Cottonwood Canyon, I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News.